Hello and welcome to the CISSP Success Toolkit. I am your coach and mentor for CISSP and my work is to simplify the core concept of CISSP so that you can pass the CISSP in your first attempt. In this particular video, we will just go with 5 minutes and I will be clarifying you the difference between uh, GDPR roles that is data controller and data processor. Uh, in domain 2, it is a vital topic and many times it is being tested. So, you should be very thorough about it. Before we get into the particular topic, uh, you know, uh, let us validate yourself. So, feel free to pause this particular video, uh, answer this particular question and answer me in the, in the comments below and uh, then I am going to explain you in next 5 seconds. <coughs> I hope by now you have identified your answer and this question looks very easy as per GDPR cloud service provider storing customer data would typically be considered as data controller. So, we need to understand what is the core differences between a data controller and data processor. You can compare this data controller with data owner as well. The only difference is when we talk about data owner we are talking from a internal uh, company organization perspective. Whenever we are asking about data controller, that is where we are thinking from an entity perspective, like which company is responsible for what. So, basically a data controller company uh, will determine the purpose and the means of processing the personal information. They are the one who are primarily responsible for complying with GDPR. If there is a breach happening, then the data controller will be the first person or will be the first entity who will be questioned for. And they are also responsible for collecting and managing consent from the data subject as and when the data is getting collected. They are the one who are responsible for clarifying uh, the transparency in their entire privacy policy as well. They will also maintain detailed records for data processing activities as well because as and when there is a legal uh, implication they have to showcase all that they have to demonstrate the uh, demonstrate the compliance to them right so that is one they also are uh, responsible for handling data subject request uh, directly for example somebody uh, trying to access uh, their personal information somebody requesting for an amendment somebody uh, uh, requesting for an erasure of data they are the one who are responsible to take care of this. And finally, in the case of a breach, a data controller is responsible for notifying the supervisory authorities within 72 hours of the, uh, you know, possible breach which is there. Otherwise, you know, the fines are very, very heavy, right. On the other end, data processor, right. Data processor, processor is a basically an entity who is processing the personal information on the behalf of the data controller. They have legal obligations under GDPR, but uh, the prime responsibility are limited to processing data as instructed by the uh, data controller. So, main things are driven by the data controller and they are not directly enforcing compliance on them. Uh, obviously, there are certain compliance uh, to them uh, regarding their own process. But actually in this particular case, the more accountability shifts towards the data controller. Uh, they are also responsible for notifying the data controller if there is a breach when they are actually processing the data. So, but they are directly not reporting to the legal authorities. They, they have to report this particular breach or maybe any kind of incident uh, to the data controller. Now, coming back on the question after all this. As per GDPR, cloud service provider storing customer data would typically be considered as data controller, uh, not at all. Because all the cloud service providers, they are not basically data uh, controllers, they are basically data processors. And that is where when you go and take a subscription on cloud and when you put up your infrastructure on cloud, you give a consent whenever you go and you know uh, subscribe to these cloud, cloud services. So, that is more of a data processor. I hope you are liking and enjoying this entire series. Uh, do not forget 
to like and subscribe this particular video. I also would be interested to see what is your answer in the comment box. And if you have any further questions on the same, uh, I am more than happy to answer all of that. And with that, I take a leave and I will see you in the next video. Jai Hind.